Another month already, another month of planned meals. Work it, make it, do it, makes us honor, better, faster, stronger. Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. My name is Nicole. If you're new here, thank you so much for stopping by. Today I'm going to be sharing with you all my July meal plan. So every single month I sit down with you guys, I show you how I meal plan for the entire month. Yes, I meal plan for my family of four for an entire month. I know it sounds tedious and it does take a little bit of time. I'm not going to lie. But once you sit down and you do it, it makes week to week go so easily. You can prep ahead of time and there's no question about what you're going to have for dinner, breakfast and lunch each and every day. It's definitely a time saver, especially if you are working parents out there, if you've got multiple kids, it is something that is going to save you so much time day to day during the work week. So let me take you down and show you what we're gonna have every single week for the month of July. Starting with July 6th through the 12th. So this is gonna be the second week of July basically because last month I shared with you guys what we had for the first week of July for 4th of July and all that good stuff. So July 6th through the 12th, as far as breakfast goes, I'm gonna be making a new recipe. It's really easy. It's like three ingredients, broccoli, egg, muffins. And I've been having the Faye 5% yogurt. It's awesome keto macros if you can find it. And just FYI, I have found it at my Whole Foods. So if you have a Whole Foods and you haven't spotted it anywhere else, go because they have them in the little containers and the huge containers at mine anyway. Yogurt combo with some berries. For lunch, we're gonna be having multiple salads this week, and that can be some shrimp that I cooked up on my Blackstone griddle, some salmon also on the Blackstone, or any other protein tossed with some walnuts, with some raspberries, with that Greek dressing. So delicious, so fresh for summer. Dinners, we're gonna be trying the Greek marinated chicken, and that's a new recipe with some kali rice that I'm probably just gonna season up, make it super simple. And then for snacks, I'm just gonna go ahead and tell you that I am gonna be making keto granola bars every single week. I love having these on the side for my lunches. They are amazing. I don't even need any processed keto bars anymore. So clean, so spot on. I look forward to them. I'll have the recipe linked in the description box down below. Chia seed pudding is a recipe I have here on my channel too. I'm not going to make it this week. I've already uh, mapped out this one, but I do have it as an option. And dark chocolate and decaf coffee every single night is an option as well. The taco bowls, we always do something taco themed for Taco Tuesday. And cilantro lime rice is going to be kind of a new recipe. I've played with it a little bit before and I'm also going to be making some chipotle sour cream I'm super excited about to top my taco bowls with and anything else I want to top with throughout the week another breakfast option baked eggs with avocado and feta a new recipe and again it's not really so much a recipe it's just something new to try again with the yogurt combo we're gonna have sardines poached eggs avocado and yogurt I've been loving eating sardines because they have great sources of omega fatty acids in them and poached eggs with those little silicone liners that I've mentioned in my keto vlogs are just so idiot proof I swear I love those things coconut spicy drumsticks this is a recipe I have in my keto recipes playlist here on my channel with some kali rice and a side salad spinach and feta burgers another new recipe I'm looking forward to it with sausage links that I've been buying from Imperfect Foods, really clean, and a side salad as well. Fisherman's eggs I've raved about since Mediterranean Keto, which is basically some poached eggs, some sardines, some spinach, some, some Romano cheese, and you just bake it up or heat it in the microwave even, guys, and just go to town with the yogurt combo. Friday night is gonna be either steaks that I've gotten from Imperfect Foods, a bunch of grass-fed steaks, some shrimp, and a side salad, or I just recently purchased a bunch of slabs of ribs, so we can either do steaks or ribs. I don't think I'm going to have this this week, but this is an option. Beef kali rice bowls. So basically just some cooked up beef over kali rice with some chipotle sour cream with some poached eggs on top. Really clean and easy option for if you're working for lunch. And then for the weekends, we like to eat any leftovers from lunches and for dinner. So there's absolutely no waste. July 13th through the 19th, we have a bunch of challenges going on for July as well. And this week is supposed to be the fasting challenge. So I'll have more information about that pretty soon, guys. I'm supposed to be making a fasting one-on-one -on -one video for you if you have questions about fasting or have zero clue that should be helpful before the challenge starts so for dinner we're gonna have greek spinach feta meatloaf over kali mash that sounds delicious new recipe cilantro lime chicken another new recipe with kali rice and a side salad as you can see a lot of kali rice kali mash i'm trying to go through all the veggies that we have in the deep freezer and go through as much as possible because i have a ton in my freezers right now that i need to go through especially since i live in southern 
in Louisiana with hurricane season. We do have a generator that runs our entire house, thank goodness, and we're very grateful for that. If case something happens, we don't lose all of our food, but I still wanna go through it so we don't have like our freezer stuffed, if that makes sense. Wing Wednesday is a staple with a side salad every Wednesday or every other Wednesday. We loved Mahi Mahi from the Mediterranean Keto Challenge with asparagus and some mozzarella, you know, baked on top of your asparagus. So good, guys, and delicious. Portobello mushroom pizzas, or we're going to use the outer aisle sandwich thins on the Blackstone to make little personalized pizzas with a side salad and, again, leftovers for dinners. As far as lunches go, again, just having salads with salmon on top, sardines, just something super clean, something super simple, but full of veg and giving me all the energy that I need. Crepini wraps, I get those crepini wraps you can find either at Costco, but I get mine at Rouse's and I put prosciutto on there with some Romano cheese, some spinach, uh, maybe an egg, even some bacon, something like that. Really easy and delicious with some yogurt and some walnuts. Portobello mushroom turkey burgers, or I'll eat those on the outer aisle sandwich thins as well with a yogurt combo. Breakfast, we're gonna do zucchini, eggs, sardines, Romano bake, so like a big bake in the oven and an oven proof dish and just go to town on that. That sounds delicious. Scrambled eggs, sausage, avocado, yogurt. Keep it clean. Keep it simple. And then having a portobello mushroom breakfast pizza or again on the outer aisle sandwich thins. Just keeping things super clean, full of veg, full of deliciousness, and whole foods as possible. July 20th through the 26th for dinners, we're going to have some ham steaks. So I have a second package of ham steaks that I purchased from Sam's Club that are in the freezer. I want to go through and put some eggs and asparagus on the side. So basically Brenner, which is breakfast for dinner and get rid of those ham steaks. We're going to do fajitas on the Blackstone griddle, either with some steak or with some chicken thighs, chicken breasts, whatever protein I have on hand. You can do shrimp. Greek stuffed peppers. That's another new recipe that looks looks absolutely delicious. I have a bunch of grass-fed beef in the freezer I want to go through. Collie mash and a side salad. Grilled lemon chicken breast. Uh, I'm going through a lot of new recipes. I want to try a lot of new stuff, and if it's good, I'll save it and keep it for you guys for future videos with some green beans. And then again, either steak or we could do ribs sausage and salad on Friday nights, leftovers for the weekend. Lunches, again, just salads. I might even make the Mediterranean chicken salad that I made before. It was delicious and put it on top of a bed of spinach. It's so good. Prosciutto wrapped cheese. So what I'm gonna do here is I have a bunch of cheese sticks on hands when I was getting a little bit cheese stick obsessed. I'm gonna wrap some prosciutto around it and I'm gonna put it in my air fryer and it's going to be delicious. A little snacky plate on the side of that sounds awesome. Sardines, poached eggs, avocado, walnuts, again, getting those omega fatty acids and just keeping it super basic and simple. Breakfast, repeat fisherman's eggs, yogurt combo, scrambled eggs with sausage, yogurt, avocado, and then chia seed pudding, I am going to make this week and have it for breakfast instead of for a dessert with some eggs and sausage on the side. So as you can see, kind of the same thing as far as breakfast and lunches, guys, because it's just super clean, delicious, and you don't have to make a fuss when you're doing keto of any kind. Just keep it as whole foods, clean, delicious within your macros, and you're going to be set. Last week of July 27th through August 2nd, I know, I can't believe we're almost into August already. This is supposed to be egg fast challenge. I haven't made up my mind if I'm actually gonna participate. I made the meal plan that I am gonna participate, but I've just been doing so good doing this clean keto and responding so well and feeling my very best. I'm kind of scared to go this route without any fruits and vegetables, if that makes sense. We are gonna go on vacation this Friday through the Monday. We're gonna be going to Orange Beach just for a little beach getaway with the family. I'm super excited about that. So if I am doing the egg fast for three days is what I'm going to commit to if I do it. I'm going to do my egg pizza. I have that recipe in the keto recipes playlist here and chaffle sandwich one night for dinner with, you know, it's basically just chaffles and then you put eggs in between or a huge omelet. So that's my dinner options. As far as lunches go, I'm just going to do a big thing of scrambled eggs an egg fast shake one day that's delicious. I have that in my highlight reel on my Instagram page and then a chaffle sandwich for lunch one day. For breakfast, the maple chaffles I have in my keto recipe playlist are delicious. I will eat those whether I'm doing the egg fast or not. They are spot on. And as you can see, we're having them every single morning because they're that spot on. And as far as snacks go, just boiled eggs and cheese sticks, guys. So it's super easy to do the egg fast, but it gets a little bit, you know, redundant and it gets a little bit boring. Some people get sick of eggs. I actually really enjoyed it the last time I did it 
but again, my body's responding better to clean keto with fruits and veggies, so we haven't made up our mind just yet, but we have a plan if we do. So the Thursday, the day before we go on our trip, I plan on us doing biscuits and gravy from the Southern Keto Cookbook with asparagus and eggs on the side. I am gonna make some keto granola bars to pack for our trip, and a lot of y'all have asked how you make those and pack those on vacations you have coming up. So what I suggest is to wrap each individual bar in saran wrap or a press and seal and put them in Ziplocs and then put them over ice because basically all it is is almond butter and seeds and nuts. And yes, if they're exposed to the heat, even when you eat it and you're holding it, it will start to melt because it's just a nut butter. So that's a way that you can have them stay cold on the way to your trip and then put them in your fridge if you're staying somewhere with a refrigerator. Vacation, I am gonna make some chia seed pudding probably to take for breakfast or for desserts. We're gonna be having keto snack plates while we're there. I'm gonna be having some meat, yogurt, walnuts, berries, might even take some burgers for lunches and just go ahead and pre-cook them so I don't have to heat up the condo while we're there. Cheese wrap, sausages, and broccoli for dinner one night. We're also going to be doing the Mediterranean grilled chicken chicken breast and green beans, and again, burgers and broccoli for dinners. Just things really quick and easy that we can make in the condo without it being a big fuss. I also have a bunch of pumpkin muffins that I have in the freezer from when I made them way back when. I need to go ahead and use them, and also some strawberry muffins, so I think I'm gonna pack those to have for breakfast as well, along with the granola bars. So we should be set as far as foods go, and I've had a lot of people ask me questions about how to stay keto doing your vacation, and I am planning on doing a really quick and informative video for you guys, but this should give you some ideas as far as what I'm doing, as far as whole foods go without your snacking. So that's my monthly meal plan for July. I'll give it a huge thumbs up if you look forward to these monthly meal plan videos. If you like watching them because it gives you some ideas for your month long meal plan. If it gives you some inspiration, give it a huge thumbs up. That helps out so much. And if you're not subscribed and you wanna see more videos like this, other health content, I do a health vlog every single Monday on my channel. I do grocery hauls. I've got all kinds of really awesome health related content here. I'd love to have you a part of the family. So make sure to hit all the bells and whistles down below so you're notified every time I upload a new video. Thank y'all so much for watching. Y'all have an amazing day. Y'all have an amazing July. Get yourself planned. Go and make your inventory in your freezer. I didn't show you that this month, but y'all know I did make an inventory in my freezer and that's how I based my meal plan off of it, as you could see from all the vegetables and protein that was on there. So go and get organized. Get yourself set up for success for July going into August with a bang. We'll see y'all in the next one. Bye y'all.